If you don't like my music, cool. If you don't like rumors and song, cool. But a lot of people don't like me. The media have called you a hypocrite for fat shaming people. Are you surprised by that? I'm more surprised at how many articles have picked that up and <laughs> keep talking about it like it's not. No so Lizzo has sent strong words to the producer of South Park. After she was body shamed in the latest episode, different media sources are reporting that Lizzo has told the producers of South Park to apologize and take down the episode or they would be hearing from her legal team. For over two decades, South Park has had a history of roasting celebrities as we have seen them mock the likes of Tom Cruise, Kanye West and Paris Hilton, even Michael Jackson was not spared from their jokes. While many celebrities have shrugged off the show's jokes, Lizzo isn't letting it slide as she has threatened legal action against the producers unless they apologize and take down the episode. So a few days after the episode, which was titled End of Obesity was released, Lizzo recorded herself reacting to jokes made about her weight. And y'all could see she was scared to watch Cut the fucking album. That's crazy. Lizzo is no stranger to fat shaming, but it's particularly hurtful when it originates from a long established brand like South Park. Throughout her life, Lizzo has faced off against trolls, showcasing remarkable mental resilience. Last year, a fan accused her of not willing to lose weight because being fat was her brand. And the fan tweeted, I don't think Lizzie wants to be smaller, yet if she did, she would be. It's her brand if she's working with a nutritionist. They'll probably show her how to eat healthily and maintain her size. Lizzo then responded to the tweet saying, y'all really need to touch grass. I'm not trying to be fat. I'm not trying to be smaller. I'm literally just trying to live and be healthy. This is what my body looks like even when I'm eating super clean and working out. Y'all speak on shit y'all know nothing about and I'm starting to get heated. Then there's this time when she threatened to quit music after she was body shamed by a fan. The fan tweeted, how is Lizzo still this fat when she's constantly moving this much on stage? I wonder what she must be eating. I just logged on and the app and this is the type of shit I see about me on a daily basis. Lizzo tweeted, it's really starting to make me hate the world. Then someone in the comments said, I eat lots of fast food. I literally stopped eating fast food years ago. I'm tired of explaining myself all the time and I just wanna get on this app without seeing my name in some bullshit. But then Lizzo getting mad at being body shamed by South Park feels some type of way because sometime last year, not only did her dancers accuse her of body shaming them, they filed a lawsuit against her. For those that might not be aware, Lizzo's dancers sued her and her production company Big Girl, Big Touring Inc. for alleged body shaming, racism, and essay. And in the lawsuit, one of her dancers, whose name was Ariana Davies, revealed Lizzo body shamed her. And the news came as a surprise to a lot of fans because Lizzo has been one of the leading faces for body positivity. People say shit about me that just doesn't even make sense. It's fat phobic. And it's racist and it's hurtful. If you don't like my music, cool. If you don't like rumors and song, cool. But a lot of people don't like me because of the way I look. And I'm like, According to the lawsuit, problems started after it appeared that Ms. Davies had allegedly added some weight, and this did not go down well with Lizzo. She and her head choreographer and dance captain, Shirlene Quigley. The pair questioned her commitment to the job and told her point blank that if she loved her job and wanted to continue working, she should work on her weight and fix up. She alleged this was said in a very demeaning, demoralizing, and illegal manner. While Lizzo, who has been on the receiving end of body shaming and racism, isn't this awkward that she is guilty of ills she's fighting against. One of the dancers, Crystal Williams, accused Lizzo of firing her days after there was a meeting that consisted of Lizzo, her staff, and dancers. During the meeting, Lizzo accused the dancers of drinking and Crystal stood up and objected and in a straight manner denied the accusations. She said Lizzo felt she undermined her powers and Lizzo's tour manager fired her days after. She demanded an explanation and she was told they needed to cut the budget, but she 
felt the sack came as a way of sending an aggressive message to the rest of the crew. While the rest spoke about the not so comfy working conditions, Ariana revealed she got the ax after she recorded a rehearsal section on her phone documentary filmmaker, Sophia Nolly Allison, who also met Lizzo, briefly revealed Lizzo treated her like a thrash. When they were filing her documentary, she said, I usually do not comment on anything pop culture related. Allison wrote on Instagram and Twitter, but in 2019, I traveled a bit with Lizzo to be the director of her documentary. I walked away after about two weeks. I was treated with such disrespect by her. I witnessed how arrogant, unkind, and cruel she is. I was not protected and thrown into a shoddy situation with little support. My spirit said to run as fast as you fucking can, and I'm grateful I trusted my gut. I felt gaslit and deeply hurt, but I've healed. While we condemn body shaming in its entirety, Lizzo calling out South Park for body shaming her is hilarious because she is not entirely innocent too. Body shaming her dancers till the point they filed a lawsuit against her speaks volumes about her attitude. And for South Park, I think there should be lines that should not be crossed because issues like body shaming are serious issues that often lead to mental breakdown in their victims. While we know Lizzo has lived with being body shamed all her life and this won't really move her as she has seen it as part of her daily life, I strongly believe South Park should at least issue an apology for that episode or the episode taken down to protect the mental health of Lizzo. News of Lizzo getting mad at South Park for body shaming her had fans talking and they left comments saying she's such a terrible person in real life that I actually love this. I have compassion and empathy for almost everyone, but not Lizzo same person who fat shamed and molested her backup dancers. Nobody cares what Lizzo has to say. It's disappointing when comedy crosses into hurtful territory. Making fun of someone's weight is never acceptable. Let's strive for humor that uplifts rather than belittles. Everyone deserves respect and dignity, regardless of their size. So do you think Lizzo should press charges against South Park for body shaming her? Or do you think South Park would take down the episode and apologize? Let me know what you think in the comments, then check out this next video.